Newsreel, real news real quick. President Biden will continue to attack MAGA Republicans who support former President Trump during a primetime speech Thursday night at Philadelphia's Independence Hall to talk about the, quote, battle for the soul of the nation, unquote, according to the White House. Biden called MAGA Republicans, quote, semi-fascist, unquote, at a fundraiser last week in a posh home in Maryland. The Department of Justice, DOJ, has completed an initial review of attorney-client privileged materials seized at Mar-a-Lago, President Trump's home in Florida, on August 8th, and claims, quote, there are only limited materials, unquote. But the admission by DOJ raises a major question how the FBI could have been so sloppy to seize privileged materials at all. Former President Trump is seeking in federal court to block the FBI and DOJ from reviewing the materials in their entirety. Comedian Chris Rock has declined an invitation to host the next Academy Awards in the wake of his physical altercation with actor Phil Will Smith at this, this year's ceremony. Russian oil sales are up 40% already in July over this point during 2021, as demand for the world's largest economies has given Russia the upper hand while embargoes and sanctions have caused the price of oil to skyrocket. Moscow earned $97 billion from oil and gas sales through July, a huge economic boon as a side impact of the war in Ukraine. A 12-year-old gunman who is now in police custody shot and injured a 13-year-old classmate at Madison Park Academy in East Oakland on Monday. Police quickly evacuated the school during the incident. Due to the failure to troubleshoot an engine problem, NASA's Space Launch System rocket carrying the moon-bound Orion capsule remained on the ground at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, disappointing watchers on Monday. And finally, Russia will launch sweeping military drills together with forces from China, Syria, India, and Nicaragua on September 1 through 7 to show off increasingly close defense ties between Moscow, Beijing, and the capitals of those other nations amid the war in Ukraine. The Vostok 2022 exercise will occur in various locations in Russia's Far East and in the Sea of Japan and involve more than 50,000 troops and 5,000 weapons units, including 140 aircraft and 60 warships. And that's the way the world is. See you next time.